Ginger has been known for its medicinal properties for over 3,000 years, and there are accumulating studies that point to its role in the treatment of many different conditions, ranging from simple colds to nausea, arthritis, diabetes, autoimmune conditions, and even an improvement on brain function and Alzheimer's protection. Some studies even report antioxidant and anti-cancer effects, but a lot of those effects were only seen in animal and in vitro studies. So in this video, I'll tell you about six amazing benefits of ginger that are actually supported by human trials. I will also talk about the best ways to take it and I review important things you need to consider when choosing the right supplement or formulation. And at the end of the video, I'll go over some important safety data that you need to be aware of before adding this to your regimen. So what is it that makes ginger so special? Well, ginger, or in this setting, I'm talking about its rhizome or the horizontal stem from which the roots grow, has over 400 bioactive compounds that includes amino acids, raw fiber, phytosterols, and at least 40 antioxidant compounds. It also includes vitamins like nicotinic acid and vitamin A. Now, perhaps the most known effect of ginger is in the treatment of nausea and vomiting, especially for nausea and pregnancy. And a meta-analysis of six randomized control trials show that taking one gram of ginger daily for at least four days was associated with a five-fold likelihood of improvement of nausea and vomiting in early pregnancy. And another meta-analysis of 12 randomized controlled trials show that ginger significantly improved the symptoms of nausea compared to placebo, but it did not significantly reduce the number of vomiting episodes. One of the ways ginger does this is by hitting the same serotonin receptors as a common nausea medication called Zofran, whose mechanism of action targets the same 5-HT3 and 5-HT4 receptors. Ginger also decreases the pressure on your lower esophageal sphincter, which in turn reduces cramping and helps with bloating. Which takes us to the second benefit. Ginger can help with indigestion, and especially with a condition called functional dyspepsia, which is basically recurrent symptoms of upset stomach, indigestion, bloating, nausea, and burning without any structural cause or any obvious cause like a peptic ulcer or gastroesophageal reflux or IBS. Impaired gastric emptying or the speed with which food empties out of your stomach is often a frequent contributor to many of these GI issues. And this is where ginger can help. Ginger has been shown to improve gastric emptying in these two small but randomized controlled trials where doses between 200 milligrams and 1200 milligrams improve gastrointestinal motility. Now amazingly, ginger was shown to not have any effect on the serum levels of gut peptides like GLP-1, which could potentially make it a nice addition for people who take medications like Ozempic or Monjaro, but experience nausea or GI side effects with them, as ginger theoretically would not interfere with the effects of these drugs. Lastly, I wanna share this randomized, double-blind, placebo-controlled trial that showed that four weeks of supplementation with ginger and artichoke resulted in significant improvement and nausea, epigastric pain, fullness, and bloating. Artichoke is a good addition to ginger as ginger has more activity on the stomach and artichoke has more activity on the small bowel. The third benefit of ginger is an improvement of inflammation and specifically inflammation in rheumatoid arthritis. In a randomized control trial in 2019, noted that 1.5 grams of ginger per day significantly lowered CRP and other markers of inflammation in people with active rheumatoid arthritis. Next, there's also evidence that ginger helps with muscle soreness after exercise, with one randomized control trial suggesting that daily consumption of two grams of raw and heat-treated ginger reduced inflammation due to exercise-induced muscle damage. And another study noted that four grams of ginger accelerated the recovery of muscle strength following intense exercise. Now, and to benefit Benefit number five, ginger has been found to improve fatty liver. And I wanna highlight this double-blind, randomized controlled trial that showed that supplementation with ginger at two grams per day for 12 weeks resulted in a significant reduction in liver markers and inflammatory cytokines, as well as a reduction in insulin resistance and hepatic steatosis grade. Active compounds of ginger enhance the antioxidant defense systems and reduce inflammation that leads to liver fibrosis or advanced stages of liver disease. Finally, the sixth benefit of ginger I wanna mention is in the treatment of dysmenorrhea or painful menstrual periods. And I want to highlight a 2020 review paper that looked at six trials and noted the supplementation of anywhere from 750 to 2,000 milligrams of ginger for the first three days of menstruation is more effective than placebo in relieving pain. Another interesting finding is there was no significant difference between ginger and non-steroidal pain relievers like ibuprofen. So this could be a viable alternative for those who cannot or do not want to take NSAIDs or oral contraceptive 
it fills. Now, there are many different ways to consume ginger, and it depends on your taste or your preference or the indication. You can start by adding raw or pickled ginger to your food, or you can drink it as a tea by mixing grated fresh ginger and hot water. Some people take crystallized ginger products, and many women take it for morning sickness. However, I would make sure you look at the ingredient label and pick the ones that does not have a lot of added sugar. You can also take ginger as an essential oil, and there is a small, not a very strong study that noted that ginger essential oil inhalation could be effective in the treatment of post-operative nausea in patients who had abdominal surgery. And lastly, you can also take ginger as a supplement, which is usually ground ginger in the capsule. The benefit is you can be more precise about how many milligrams of ginger you consume, but I would make sure that whatever supplement you pick is third-party tested or USP verified to ensure that you're getting 100% ginger without any additives or fillers. And when it comes to safety, Ginger root is generally considered safe by the FDA, and most studies we discussed used anywhere from 200 milligrams to 4,000 milligrams per day. And a large population-based cohort study in Norway found that the use of ginger during pregnancy was safe, and it was not associated with increased risk of congenital malformations, stillbirth, low birth weight, or preterm birth. Adverse events are rare if you're staying below four grams per day, and taking ginger at higher than recommended dosing may cause issues like GI upset, heartburn, and worsening of pre-existing bleeding conditions, especially if already taking blood thinner medication. Overall, it's a great supplement with a lot of small but promising studies supporting the addition of ginger to your regimen. There's a lot more benefits that that I haven't covered, so if you are using ginger as a natural remedy, let me know in the comments below why you're taking it and in what form. I hope this review was helpful, and I'll see you in the next one.